again. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get this posted on Friday like I was supposed to, but uh, stuff came up over the weekend, and so you get to watch me on Monday. Yay! So this week is actually going to be Rosemary Clement Moore a Palooza because she's awesome, and I read two books by her. So first book is Hell Week. Uh, and this is the second in the Maggie Quinn vs. Evil series uh, that I, uh, like, way back, I talked about uh, Prom Dates from Hell, and that's, like, actually back when I was Dane Samuel in Seven. So, this is the sequel, um, and there's three books actually out in the series right now. This is the second one. So, Maggie's going to uh, college now, and she's participating in Rush, and she, she's thinking that there's a demon sorority happening, which, you know, to her sounds like a terrible B-movie, demon sorority girls from hell, but there's something, there's definitely something up with the, one of the sororities on Greek Row. And so it's Maggie, and she's back, and she's sarcastic again, and uh, she and Lisa are kind of dealing with the fallout from prom, from the prom, and what happened then, and so it's, it's a good book. I think this is actually not my favorite in the series, just because it, I'm not entirely sure, actually. I think it's, it's a different tone. And uh, you, you deal with things a little bit more. It, it hits her a little bit more. She's not quite herself. And it's, it's an interesting book. And it's, it's a good second book. I also recommend the third one. The third one is excellent. So that's Hell Week, uh, Rosemary Clement Moore, second in the Maggie Quinn vs. Evil series. And the next book that I have is actually a book that is not out in stores yet. I have an advanced reader copy, which made me so happy. I borrowed it from a friend, and then she just she let me keep it as a graduation gift. And it's Texas Gothic, and it's Rosemary Clement Moore's new book. Uh, this isn't part of any series. It's about this girl, Amy, who uh, is part of a family of witches. And she knows they're witches, she knows what they do works, uh, but she wants to be, she is, trying to keep it so that normal people don't look at them like they're complete freaks. So she's, she puts it as she's the gatekeeper, and it's, it's an interesting position to be in. And so she's house-sitting for her aunt, and there are rumors of ghosts. And she does not like ghosts. Uh, there's, there's rumors of a ghost at a neighboring farm, and sh her sister is all like, Yes! Let us track down the ghost! And she's like, no, let us be normal people and stay at the ranch. And of course she has to reluctantly go and keep her sister from being a crazy person. And it's, it was a great book. I read, so I, I read the Maggie Quinn vs. Evil series. And then I read The Splendor Falls. And I liked The Splendor Falls. It was, it was a pretty good book. But it didn't have that same sort of sarcastic, biting humor that I think might just be... Maggie's own quirky personality. And then I read this book and I was like, the humor is back! It made me so happy. So it's very sarcastic, there's some romance, there's a lot of humor, there's death-defying situations, there's mentions of Nancy Drew, because, you know, you can't be a sleuth without knowing who Nancy Drew is. And so it's it's a good book. I loved this book. I read it in like two days, I think, three days maybe, and it it was it was so good. It was so good that I stole it from my friend, and it will be out on uh, July of this year. So if you you should go and either reserve a copy at the library or pre-order the book, or buy the book at the bookstore, or whatever you want to do, but you should read this book, because uh, it was very, very good. And those are the two books that I have for this week. I will have more on Friday, probably, I hope. 
because I need to read faster and more. But I've been drawing, so I can't, I, I need to concentrate on that since I have 18 days until I graduate. Oh my god. So, those are the books, and I hope that you have a good week. I'll see you again on Friday. Happy reading.